I'm really amazed at all of the focus on retro synths lately. It's like taking the sounds, all of these huge hardware synths and different things, and we're able to have them right here uh, inside our computers. And it's just so extraordinary to be able to have that opportunity. You know, some of you guys are familiar with um, with East West, and they reached out to me and they, they said, you know, would you like to try uh, our string machine? And it was like, yeah, uh, of course. And, and so this is another synth collection is focusing on those beautiful, thick, retro sounds. They're like retro, but yet they're futuristic as well. So it's like we go to the past in order for us to come into, uh, into the future. This is a collection that uses sounds from like Jupiter 6, OBX, the, the ARP, the string machines, the Selena, and then uh, pulling them together with some like the classic reverbs and things. They've just presented it in, in a really interesting way that makes it easy to, um, to pull the sounds up uh, very quickly. Let's look at this. You can see it's, it plays in their Opus engine, and I'm just now getting familiar with all of the ins and outs. And Opus is like their engine that hosts their, uh, their instruments, and that way you can, you can go in and just create your own uh, layers and different things with their instruments, and it's just very powerful. Uh, you know, you have a mixer section, performance section inside of Opus, and of course, the, the main play section. So let's go to browse, and we've got, um, let's just start with like the first uh, preset here, and then we can just go from, from there. We've got uh, four sections, uh, we've got, um, Okay, so let's make sure we are in the right place. <laughs> wow. And see, this thing is just so fat already. So we've got the string machine section in the red. We've got uh, acoustic strings in green, brass in blue and then voices. We've got a voice section and we can mix and match. And now let's look at the um, the different sections that we can, uh, and, and it's just like an organ stop that you can, we can uh, just flip these switches and it makes it easy to um, pull things up very quickly and do combinations. So we've got, um, variations that we can select and then we can just layer combine them stack
acoustic strings. fun to uh, just layer things together and let's see let's just um, let's see what we've got with uh, some more of these Having the the voices in there, it's a, it's just a lot of fun. Um, okay, so let's just uh, let's go ahead and just play some more of the individual sections, so we can kind of get an idea. Yeah, the strings. And when you have the acoustic strings and then the synth strings layered, that gives it another depth uh, as well. Woodwinds. Reeds. And you can see they're just laid out in different ranges. Trumpets. That's pretty cool. And then they paired it with uh, some vintage type of reverbs and tape delays. Just a lot of fun. And then we've got voices at the end. That's nice. Vintage. Just processed in different in different ways. And I think it's so fun, again, to have everything kind of on one screen and you can just kind of play around with the different uh, controls and layer, you know, as we're just selecting different things. 
and uh, it just makes it easy to um, just kind of come up with fun. So it could just take you right, take you right there. the line sort of between uh, like synth and orchestral uh, and that is what it adds just another dimension to this I think that's so much fun let's go to uh, Sunday and Monday and listen to what we've got here yeah, I I had an Opus Three. I I wish I still had. I wish I still had that. Just the accessibility of it to be able to um, just go between so many different sounds very quickly. Uh, let's go to the forest. And then you've got the modulation that brings up some more. Yeah, so the mod modulation wheel brings in a little more variation and dynamic. Let's load this. Here we go. This is the river.
you know, 46, 50 voices when I'm doing, um, when I'm doing this. Um, let's go to a, a vintage opera. Yeah, we might be, do a couple of more of these. <laughs> And you hear a nice little fl uh, like some flangers and the ensemble. It's just got such a unique sound, uh, especially the way that they combined uh, these things together, these different instruments together. So this is vintage orchestra. Let's see. And it sounds kind of like uh, a little pipe organish, I guess. That's really cool. That is really cool. So make sure you check out the uh, the links in the description on um, on the string machine and not only the string machine but also their their whole collection uh, because what what you can do this um this is actually included as part of the composer cloud so they offer a subscription service that includes all of their instruments and then you can also purchase this stand standalone and right now standalone it's 199 and you've got 13 gigs of, uh, of instrumentation, of the effects and things that we we took a look at. The uh, Composer Cloud is a great way to um, to have access to all of their instrument collections. But I'm glad they also give you a, a chance to purchase a perpetual uh, license as well.